Today's video will focus on mistakes that you need to avoid when you are actually at the airport and going through the TSA line. The most common TSA security line mistake that us travelers continue to make is not fully emptying our pockets. Some things, like car keys, are obvious to remove, but many travelers don't know that even seemingly insignificant things, like a tissue or a sugar packet, also need to be removed from your pockets. Ensure that absolutely everything has been removed from your pocket to save yourself time, as well as the TSA agent time, by not having to give you a manual scan or a pat down. Let us know down in the comments if you have ever triggered an alarm when going through the airport security scanner by leaving yes alarm or no alarm. I certainly have, and if you haven't, that is incredibly impressive. Nice. This next mistake is usually more intentional than forgetting something in your pocket. This would be trying to sneak liquids in your carry-on. Most travelers know that you can't bring any liquids over 100 milliliters through the airport security checkpoint. And it's a pretty common mistake to accidentally forget that you had a water bottle in the bottom of your backpack and not take it out. But what's not by accident and what I see travelers doing all the time is blatantly walking past the no liquid sign and then putting their water bottles back in their backpack to go through the scanner assuming it won't be caught. The scanner is most likely going to pick up on the liquid in your bag, at which point you will have to have your bag searched, you are going to have to remove the item and throw it away, and now you are just set back extra time that you could have saved. Finish your water before you go to the security checkpoint and then keep the empty bottle to fill up on the other side once you have gone through the TSA line. And even travelers that do try their best to follow the TSA liquid rules do make this next mistake, which is not knowing that the container the liquid is in needs to be under 100 milliliters. So if you have a water bottle, but there's only this much liquid left in it, but the actual bottle size is larger than 100 milliliters, which most of them are, you are not able to bring that through security. Same goes with toothpaste. If the container is over 100 milliliters and there's only a tiny bit left in it, you will not be able to bring it through security. This applies to anything that is a liquid, cream, gel, paste, or spray. The container must be 100 milliliters or less. Another common mistake as you go through TSA security would be packing the items that you know you are going to need to take out of your bag in the bottom of your bag. Make sure that things like your electronics and your liquids are in a very easy, accessible pocket. You can always rearrange these items after airport security before you board the plane, but when you go through security, they need to go out into a bin, so have them ready and easily accessible. The next mistake that you may catch yourself making the next time you go through airport security would be choosing to go to a line on the right side. Assuming you have a choice and are not being directed by an agent, try to pick a line that is on the left side. This is because most people have their right side as their dominant side and it's just natural human nature to move towards our dominant side. This means that lineups that are on the right are often going to have more people in them than lineups on the left. And since lines on the left tend to be less busy, they therefore move more quickly and limit your chances of theft. Speaking of theft, another mistake that could cost you big time is not keeping a close eye on your items as they go through the scanner. It's not pleasant, but airport screening stations and airport security checkpoints are attractive to thieves. Some of these thieves are professionals and they have elaborate schemes, while others may not plan to steal, but then see an opportunity when all of these shiny gadgets come through the scanner with no immediate owner to claim them. Do your best to place your items on the conveyor belt only when it is your turn to walk through the metal detector or scanner. You want to limit the amount of time that your items are left unattended waiting for you on the conveyor belt once they have gone through the scanner. Avoiding this next mistake could not only help speed up your trip through security, but also help keep your items safe. Stop taking your valuables out of your pocket and out of your bag and placing them directly in the bin. Instead, what you can do is wear your jacket and fill your pockets with all of these items, like your money, your keys, your AirPods. By having them in your jacket pockets, you're probably going to be asked to take your jacket off before you go through the body scanner anyway. So you can just fill the items in your pockets, take your whole jacket off, and then put your jacket in the bin to go through the scanner. In a case like this, all of your items are being kept together so you're not going to forget anything on the other side. Your items are also being hidden away so they aren't all out on display, which is going to reduce your chances of theft. 
The one exception of things that need to come out of your bag that will not be going in your jacket pocket would be larger devices like your laptop or iPad. These need to go in a bin that is separate and on their own. Another TSA airport security line mistake would be doing anything other than answering direct agent questions and following instructions. The agent has a job to do and is not there to make conversation. You are not doing yourself any favors by word vomiting more information than is being asked for. You are simply setting yourself up to have additional screening. Choosing to argue with a TSA agent is also not going to end well for you. Agents follow guidelines, but in the end, it is up to their discretion whether or not you can bring things through security or if you need additional screening or a bag search. The best thing that you can do for yourself is just go with the flow. Don't ask the agent if the scanner is going to cause cancer or try to make conversation or make a joke. And if they tell you that the mashed potatoes have to go because they're a liquid, just get rid of them. This leads to the next mistake, which is one of the worst things that you can do in the TSA airport security line, letting other travelers or an unhappy agent get to you. In addition to simply putting a damper on your travels, letting those around you influence your behaviors could get you into trouble. When you feel rushed or distracted is going to be when you make mistakes. It's when you forget to take things out, forget to pick things up at the end of the security line, or when you say the wrong thing. Take your time, listen to the TSA agent's instructions, and ignore everything else. You may also want to consider putting your empty bins in the stack of other empty bins as you go to exit the line. Not only will the airport staff appreciate the help, but you'll also have a moment to double check that the bins you are stacking are actually empty and that you're not leaving anything behind. In addition to breaking things and leaving things behind, you'll also want to avoid the mistake of not putting away your valuables and other items before exiting the security line. An extremely common mistake that you will see travelers make all the time is to clear the security line and then proceed to walk through the airport with their passport and their ticket in hand out on display. Put your passport away as soon as possible in a safe and secure location. This is not something that you want to have out where it can be lost or stolen. Airports are a prime spot for thieves preying on nervous travelers that are sleep deprived and have a billion things on their mind. Be alert and don't set yourself up to be a target by keeping valuable items like your passport out. Avoiding these common TSA airport security line mistakes are going to help you get through the security line as quick and painlessly as possible. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you'll consider subscribing to join us back here for more travel tips and hacks next week. Bye!